On Monday, February 6, ONTV kicked off its week-long food drive benefiting the Oxford Orient Fish Food Pantry. Things got off to a rocky start when it was discovered that a water pipe burst at the Orient Center on Sunday, February 5th, flooding the offices of the Senior Center in Parks and Rec. Luckily, ONTV just had to deal with some damp carpets, and the food drive went on as planned. Now in its 13th year, the ONTV staff went live on the air throughout the week and created new content for viewers to enjoy. The community was asked to donate online or drop off food at the Orient Center. As the food drive came to an end on Friday, it was announced that more than $8,000 was raised during the week. Much of that came from generous sponsors in the business community. After the food drive came to an end, ONTV received another substantial donation. Bill and Pam Vulcan of Madison Heights Plumbing and Heating Supply dropped off a check for $5,000, bringing the 2023 total to over $13,000, and an estimated 2,000 pounds of food was delivered to the food pantry. Well, 2023, the 13th annual food drive for fish, um, always an exciting time for Orient Neighborhood Television. Our staff all come together at, at one time. We really kind of call it this our Super Bowl. We use all the technology um, at our fingertips that we have available to use it for a good cause to help uh, the food pantry try to bridge that gap from the holiday season into uh, the spring season. And our goal this year was $5,000. and. Uh, we had a lot of help from our community sponsors, our local businesses and corporations. Over 30 businesses came out to help uh, the food drive this year and fish with a minimum of $100 donation, which is fabulous. We can't thank our sponsors enough for the support they gave fish. 100% of all donations go right to the food pantry. Uh, this cash is so needed at this time with the, uh, the inflationary uh, uh, pressures put on families in their food bills. On Thursday, February 9th, representatives of North Oakland VFW Post 334 arrived at the Oxford Orient Fish Food Pantry to present a check for $1,200. Each year at this time, the VFW takes part in the food pantry's Adopt a Shelf program to make sure that the tomato sauce shelves are stocked throughout the year. Their business is, is booming, and with that, the reason it's booming is everybody at home sees an impact every time they go groceries what used to be a dollar is now five dollars and that's putting a lot of people out in the risk range now so having this organization here support the orient oxford metamora in here in north oakland that uh it's, it's, it's just a gem to have out in this area here it surely is and our money cannot be better used than going out and supporting the community this way because there's a lot of veterans that come through the doors here to pick up some food for the month. When you see us on the streets uh, uh, offering everybody a poppy, uh, those donations that come in help support this community service that we do. Uh, we can uh, use that money to help veterans and their, in their, in the spouses and their children and, and the community too. So. Uh, that, that money is uh, set aside through the poppy program that we do offer and uh, that's how we collect the monies to, to purchase the items that we do sponsor on the shelves. It's amazing to have you know this lump sum of money. Our clients are, are increasing in number, we get more calls, so this all helps you know tremendously for us to have food on the shelves to help those families in need. Even before the food drive began, food was already arriving at the ONTV offices at the Orient Center. Troop 77493, made up of daisies and brownies, dropped off a huge load of canned goods and non-perishable items. And we just wanted to be involved in our community um, because Girl Scouts are friendly and helpful and courteous and kind, which is part of our law. <laughs> um, so we just wanted to collect cans of and boxes of food for our community. Um, we made a poster, the girls made a poster, and we just posted on Facebook and went around and did porch pickups. And um, the girls had a great time helping with their community. And coming up, well right now, is cookie season. So you'll be starting to see us out very soon out in your lo our local grocery stores and other stores.
Throughout the week, the community was encouraged to help fill the van, which was parked in front of the ONTV entrance. On Friday, representatives of Fish arrived to collect the food donations and deliver them to the food pantry. During the holiday, everyone has that giving spirit, and we bring in a lot of a lot of um, donations. And then it kind of tapers off in the winter months until Postal Food Drive, which I, I believe is in May 13th this year. So this helps bridge that gap, keeps our shelves full, gives us you know money to purchase things that are you know dwindling. So yeah, it, it's a great to fill that gap. We thank you so much for bringing awareness to the pantry, continued awareness, bringing in new people, you know, finding out what we do. Not only people who maybe need our services or know someone who could use our help, but also to come and, you know, maybe adopt a shelf or, you know, give us a, you know, a donation, of, you know, so that they can help others too. So we thank you so much for that awareness and um, making us a priority. Yeah community coming out the way they have, we're not surprised. Uh, Orion and Oxford uh, OCTV, Oxford Community Television, has joined us uh, this year and has spread the food drive north uh, up Lapeer Road, so it's growing to uh, incorporate uh, a lot of the sponsors from uh, Oxford, which came out this year, which was fantastic. So we know when there's a call to action to help those in need around Oxford and Orion, we know the community is going to come out and uh, we were not disappointed. From the ON TV studio, this is Joe Johnson reporting for ON TV News.